Welcome back to another game of Command and Counter. I am your host, Brad, from High Ground Gaming, here with another banger for you. We have in seat one General back on the show, playing Zerja and Ojatai. We have It's Hay playing Heliod, Esper. We have Shenpai playing that Rakdos muscle back on the show again. And then we have me playing Atali. Atali is back. Big Dino. Let's see what happens. Uh, first off, I just want to appreciate everybody for being on the channel. I also want to shout out and give a big thanks to each and every one of you for watching and supporting the show. We really appreciate you. Um, please like, subscribe, throw down some comments. Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about um, your own experiences you have uh, playing against these decks or any cool uh, things that you ha you have, or maybe you even play these decks and, and you have some ideas and different things that you're using in those decks. would love to hear um, any and all ideas that people have because when you have a community it's really important to share share what you guys are doing sharing what you're what you're thinking about certain cards so would love to hear some feedback um but let's get into the game uh let's kick it off and see what happens any pregames i do have a pregame <sighs> anybody else have a pregame none here uh, nope. i will play this gemstone cavern pitching this commercial district okay all righty i'm good to go, go ahead have fun. <laughs> gonna start off casting a mox opal then i'll play this meticulous archive get a surveil trigger yeah i can stay on top then i'll pass all right i will draw uh, I will play an Urza Saga. And then I will tap the Urza Saga for a Mana Vault. Nice. Pass as well. Sure. Um, tap up, keep drawing. We'll do Verdant Catacombs, and I'll just pass. Uh, untap. I will draw. I will play this Scalding Tarn, and I will crack it. Uh, Pay one. I will go ahead and get a shortcut. Uh, stomping Grounds, taking two. Um, and then I'll tap two to dash in this Ragavan. Ooh. Nice. And then if that's good, I will swing it. Hey, you probably got some fun stuff. I'll swing at you. Hey, hey yep. Yeah. Probably two. not. No? It's an ancient tomb. An ancient tomb. Then I will get a treasure. And this will bounce back to my hand. And I'll pass. Yes, I totally didn't even think about it. But General had surveilled the top card and left it on top of his library. And if I was a good magic player, <laughs> you always hit the person that just did that. If they're open, that way you exile whatever it is. You know, it could be anything. So, um, yeah, I messed up here. Uh, but at least I, I, I realized it um, when I got called out by General after in a, in a second here. But uh, in the future, always hit the per person who has something on top of their library. If you dash in a ragavan, it's a... Uh, great that getting rid of that card and, and stopping them from whatever they're trying to do let's see what happens alrighty untap upkeep and draw this card that I surveilled to the top that I was certain was about to get ragavand kind of happy that I didn't draw more colorless mana oh, I should have paid that. attention to the surveil yeah you're right you did just <laughs> keep that on top I mean, that was dumb dumb there's a windswept heath and I'm gonna go ahead and fetch I'll just fetch now it okay. doesn't matter exactly when I fetch. No one else here is playing Op Agent. I want a Pandora. That's fine. I'll have two blue white lane. You said you're passing then? Yep. Alright. I will draw. Oh, this goes to two. I will play a Windswept Heath. Um, I will pay a life, sacrifice this, go find myself a Tundra. Just in response, I'm going to vamp tutor. Okay. And then I would like to cast a Jeweled Lotus. 
And then I would like to sacrifice the Jeweled Lotus and pay one uh, to cast my commander. Yeah, fine. I will tap for three, pay two life, uh, put the activation on the stack. I will pass. Pass, sure. Okay. And then I will pass the turn there. Draw this card that I told, tutored for. We'll play a Mount Doom. I'll also play a Jeweled Lotus. Mm, nice. I would like to cast Rakdos. Pass. Yep. Uh, I Good will also me. pass with that. I'll untap. Uh, I'll draw. I will play this Misty Rainforest. I will go ahead and just crack it. Or forest. Regular old forest. We're about to get blood mooned, aren't we? It certainly mm -hmm. appears that way. I'm going to go ahead and get one, two. Uh, I will cast this Arcane Sick. You got it. And then I'll you tap two to dash and rag Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Now I'm gonna be smart. Did anybody put anything cool on top of the library? It doesn't matter. Uh, I have to swing at you. Not General. this turn cycle. <laughs> General, uh, you don't have a blocker, so I'm coming at you for two. Yep. Here's a fish. Oh, snap. Ooh. I'll take a fish. Um, I'll get my treasure. I'll sack it to cast fish. Yeah. Pass on it. Yep. And then I will. That's a pretty good flip. That was a very good flip. I'll pass from there. Alrighty. Uh, Ragavan will bounce to my hand. I'll try to find a fish. Hitting that uh, Mystic Grimora with uh, my Ragavan and being able to cast it is huge. I really need card advantage here. A Tali with a fish is awesome. So really excited right here. feel like I'm in a really good place um, moving forward in this game. So ready to pop off soon. I'll draw Let's this card. It. Let's go blue and blue. And I'd like to cast a Steel Enchantment. Oh, you jerk. Are you paying for fish? <laughs> I cannot pay for the fish, and I think I'm supposed to target the Heliod, which is like the best enchantment that's on the board. But oh, I nice. also think that you're not going to let it resolve, so I might just target my own fish with um, um, I'll draw off the fish first. Yeah, you can draw off the fish. Uh, I'll just I'll target my own fish on your board. Yep. All right. I that's would good. like to respond to the fish trigger. Yep. Uh, by playing a fairy mastermind. Not that it matters, but we'll get there. Yep, I will draw. I have no response to fairy mastermind. Is that good? Yeah, mastermind's good, then fish draw. Draw. Uh, you got a fish? Uh, bummer, general giveth. General taketh away. Uh, you know, I got one card off of it, but we'll, we'll see, uh, See how I can get back in this game. <laughs> yeah, I have an enchanted fish. Look at that. I'm passing from there. Untap, upkeep, draw step, mana vault hits me for one. I draw a card. This goes to three. Uh, say goodbye to my land. <laughs> um, I will then play a sea of clouds and i will pass the turn i will good? untap let's keep and draw I play a city of brass i'll do a jessica's will i believe general has the most i've only got four right now i have four well, there's a, a Mr. Grimora. There's a Mr. Grimora yeah. trigger. I'm going to target you because you don't have things like bullshit veils on there, but this could get countered. Uh, fish so, trigger then. Fish trigger, yeah. I'll draw. And Jessica's will targeting you. Uh, I would like to respond. Go for it. I'm going to play a soul ring. Go for it. Mm -hmm. That does trigger the fish. Yeah, it does. Would you like to draw your second card this turn? 
Uh, I think I do, but I don't know that I'm going to draw much more than that. That's a risk we won. I'm going to take the draw for the Soul Ring. Uh, trigger Mastermind. Yep. I wish I had a fish. I will pass priority on the Jessica's will. Yeah, I'm good with it. Alright, so I get six mana, three cards. Alright, you have six, six cards. Six mana, flip hand. three. Sorry, right, Cavern of Souls, Orcish Bowmasters in a one ring. Interesting. I would like to spend four and attempt to cast the one ring. I got a fish trigger on it. I beg you to decline this, because if there is just an ancestral statue Hazareths, we lose. Is one ring good? Uh, I'm passing on my fish draw, and then I'm passing on one ring. Pass on one ring. Sick. Okay, so I have two reds, so sorry. I will spend one and cast an impulsive pill for her. Yeah, I'll activate Rakdos' ability. Uh, sacrifice this. I'll target B-Rad for a card. One card off the top? Yep. You get a gamble. I target myself. I'm going to spend two to cast the Bowmasters. Mm -hmm. Yep. I oh. got nothing for it. You got it. Uh, yep. ETB, it'll shoot the uh, fairy. Yep. Y'all yep. be scared of nothing. And I would like to move to my end step. This one made an exile. I'll tap. I will draw. I will play this Taiga, which is the reason I didn't go get a Taiga. Because I had one in my hand <laughs> since the beginning of the game. Well, there you go. I will tap one for my Ragavan. That's good. I'll tap two for this Toronto Goblin. one reduction right now? Goblin Engineer. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll throw Jew Lotus in my grave. I feel like I just be responsible and pass. So I say I want to be responsible here because I do have a Wheel of Fortune in hand. I really need seven new cards, but there's a Bowmaster on the battlefield, which could be cool if I activate it. Bowmaster will trigger, but its hay will also get to do whatever they want to do over top of that those triggers so if i so happen to wheel into anything i mean the whole hand is getting cast we possibly all lose the game right on top of the stack and it's over before the bowmasters can kill a bunch of stuff but it also just puts senpai way ahead so unfortunately as much as i need the card draw here i just have to pass the turn and hope to get natalia next turn works for me i will untap in my upkeep, I'll pay for keep this fish around and draw for turn. And then I think I'm just going to pass. I got seven in hand. Uh, on your end step, I'm going to untap the mana vault with paying one to tap the key to untap the vault. Yep. Yep. And then I will go to my turn. We'll untap. Upkeep, draw a card. I will play a land and I will pass. Uh, in your end step, I would like to draw one card. Cool. I will untap, upkeep, lose a life to the one ring, draw a card. Uh, I would like to attempt to evoke an ingot chewer. Is that all good? Yeah, I got nothing. Mm -hmm. Getting a whole lot of nothing out of this fish. Yeah, you should have left <laughs> it on my my hands. I was treating it nicely. Uh, ETB will target the mana vault, I guess. Or is it better to hit mana vault? No, I think it's better to hit mana vault. Um, I have a response to its sack trigger on the stack. Uh, I will cast Burnt Offering, sacrificing it. Now there's that a fish triggers trigger. Fish. Um, 
I have a Rakdos trigger on top of the burnt offering. I want to tap this for three mana before it dies. If that makes um, sense. Not being not yeah. being stupid. Yeah, that makes, that makes yeah. Really sense. Uh, I was like, wow, you really weren't kidding. You really do not have anything if you're not going to tap it. I mean, yeah. yeah, you're good to draw fish. Okay, I have drawn um, one more card. Bowmaster trigger will hit Ragavan. Wow, we got there. We did it. It was just. Uh, it was am just I good real. to resolve the Rakdos trigger targeting myself for five? Yeah, I got nothing. Um, one, two, three, four, five. The cards I hit are Priest of Urbrast, Anime Dead, Viscera Seer, Priest of Gix, and a Golgari Thug. Am I good to resolve Burnt Offering? Yep. That gives you five mana? Five mana and a combination of red or black. Yep. Sick. Make five. Uh, I'll make it... I'll split it three black, two red, I guess. If it's relevant. I would like to spend one cast of Viscera Seer. I Is that all good? I think I want to respond to Viscera Seer. Sure. Um. Yeah, I will... Using the three... Actually, no. I only need to use... Because I have a reduction of two. I only need to use two. So I have one floating, uh, pay two blue mana, um, cast a capsize, paying for buyback, targeting Rakdos. Trigger fish. Um, you know what? One, two, three. Actually, no, that'll be your second. Nah, I don't have a fairy anymore. So yeah, four mana. Wow. Cool. Cap size returns it to hand, right? Yep. In response, I'm going to activate the one ring. And also there's a bowmaster trigger off of the... Oh, no, you paid. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to activate the one ring to draw two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good on that. Mm -hmm. mm, that's fine. Practice okay. will get returned to hand. So we'll capsize. You paid for a buyback? I oh, did. Oh yeah, because you have the reduction. Yep. Continuing on with my turn. Uh, sorry, is Viscera Seer good to resolve? Yep. Yeah, I'm passing on it. That's it. How many cards uh, do you have in hand now, hey? I still have four. Play still four? Polluted, okay. Polluted, play a Polluted Delta. Crack the Polluted Delta. All right, I'll find a Blood Crypt. I will leave a black floating, cast a priest of Urbrask. Or sorry, I would like to leave a red floating, I guess. Priest of Urbrask, good? Yep. ETB, good with me. make three red. If that's good. I would also like to cast a priest of Gix using the three red. Sick. So, spend that, that, and that. Uh, we will cast a Rakdos again. Take hmm? one to cast a Ragavan. I'll just pass with that. These guys will remain in exile. And I will draw. Yep. I will play a Mountain as my land for turn. Tap one. I'll tap my Goblin Engineer uh, to return to the Lotus. Is that good? You have to Pass. sacrifice another artifact. Oh yeah, I'll sacrifice charge. Okay. Sure. One. Two. And three. It's five, six, seven. I will attempt to play Tally. Hmm. Pass. Heliod? No. 
Very good. You got it. Y'all right. have stopped me from doing everything I wanted to do this game, so... <laughs> so let's flip uh, Atali uh, until you hit non. Uh, well, I have a response to the Atali trigger. Yep, yep. I would like Go to ahead. activate Viscerus here, sacrificing this Ragavan. Okay. Rakdos trigger, I'll target myself for one card. Okay. Mind Slicer. Nice. Into then you have the Scry from the Viscerus here. Yeah, I have a Scry. I'll keep that card on top. Okay. We could uh, resolve. Yep. There's a you swan song. A wheel of fortune. Land or else. Um, I have a sink into stupor. Sink into stupor. What's that? Do? That's the MDFC uh, return target spell or non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Cool. Ooh. I will cast that last targeting the bowmaster. So that last. will resolve. No, like that will resolve first. So I'm, that'll, oh, that'll be the because I'm casting it. Yeah, I'm casting it last, which means that'll resolve first. Then I will have that followed by a Lanawar elves. Swan song will just get exiled, sadly. Yep. And then I'm down to wheel. Let's wheel. I've got two fish triggers on the stack from Sink into Stupor and Wheel of Fortune. Okay, well, we're going to wheel anyways, so I'll resolve the first draw. Uh, and Bowmaster then I'd like to... Trigger. Yeah, go for it. Uh, we'll shoot... Let's shoot at the Tali's face. Take one. And then I'd like to resolve the second trigger draw. Mm -hmm. Any responses? Nope. All right. And second trigger will also go out of Tali's face. Yep. And then sink into super targeting Bowmaster. Yes. I'm good for um, that one. I mean, it's going to go to my grave anyways. So I'll sack it to Viscerus here. Okay. The fizzle. Go back uh, to your graveyard, Hazy. Well, I have, I have things that happen before any of that happens. Yeah, I'm just letting Rack you know that, that goes back to the graveyard instead of... Targeting myself for two cards. Mm -hmm. A Wishclaw Talisman and an Imperial Recruiter. Now I'd like to resolve my Scry 1. Mm -hmm. I would like to bottom this. Um, And we're on... So, Sink into Super Fizzles. Swan Song stays in exile. Lanwar Elves. I'm good on light more elves. You got an elf. Got an elf. Uh, wheel. I'll respond to wheel. Um, paying one white and put a silence on the stack. Ooh, nice. I'm good to let wheel resolve. All right, I'll hit a wheel I for silence. Resolves. Am... Yep, silence. Oh uh, yeah. I... Okay. I'm uh, discarding a demonic tutor, a mayhem devil, and a forsaken miner. Underworld breach, mana confluence, and my own wheel. Uh, land capsize swan song statue. Trick bind march. There was a mist. statue. Displacer okay, King. and red blast Savine's wreck ranger captain recruiter of the guard oh, wow. volcanic island counterbalance. Holy Toledo! All right, all cards that are very good when you have more than two mana in play. Yeah, I'll draw seven. Oh god, that was terrible. All right, I cannot cast spells said no so i will pass turn there okay. untap upkeep um do i want to take more game actions or do i want to pay two mana for this fish i think i just have to let the fish die and the aura with it uh and then go to my draw step uh this will make all my colors there's an exotic orchard Alrighty, uh, I'm gonna pay three mana and cast an Imperial Recruiter. You got it. I'll go find the Docky Boy and put it in my hand and pass the turn. Untap. Uh, draw a card. Uh, play this lovely land I drew. It's a Gemstone Caverns. And honestly, I think. I pass. All right. 
I will untap, upkeep, lose two to my one ring. Go back to two, please. Draw. I'll play out this LED. We'll play this mana confluence. Um, I would like to exile some tomb from my hand and evoke a grief. Uh, ETB, I will target general. Sure. Um, I got a Dockside, I got a Fierce Guardianship, I've got a Teferi Time Raveler, two lands, Mana Confluence and Arid Mesa, I've got a Smothering Tithe, and a Cyclonic Rift. I'm gonna have you get rid of the Teferi. Okay. Works for me. Uh, before Grief dies, I would like to sacrifice a Divisorus here. Trigger Rakdos, target myself for four cards. Is that all good? Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. Uh, they are Feed the Swarm, Dark Ritual, Sacrifice, and Soul Ring. Uh, resolve Viscerous here, trigger. Keep that there. Take one cast a Soul Ring. I would like to tap one to cast a Dark Ritual. Sick. Dark Ritual is good. I would like to add three black. Tap Soul Ring. I'm going to float one there. Use the three black to cast a Mind Slicer. We're screwed. Is this the guy that makes me discard my hand? Yeah. Yeah, yes. when it goes to the graveyard, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pay one. And I would like to cast a Swords to Plowshares targeting Rakdos. In response, I'm going to sacrifice the Priest of Gix to Viscerous here. Is that all good? Mm-hmm. Yep. Sick. Exile top three. They are Op Agent, Command Tower, and a Red Blast. I still have responses. Yeah. All right, let's try one. Uh, we'll bottom that guy. Um, I would like to spend a mana to cast Sacrifice, Sacrificing Rakdos. That's fine with me. Sacrifice gives you... What? Seven mana, right? It's going to give me five black. Sick. Um, then I'm good to resolve these swords to fizzle. Yep. Okay. Uh, next on the stack will be a Phyrexian Altar. That's pretty good. I will play a Fierce Guardianship targeting the Phyrexian Altar. Uh, in response, sacrifice Mind Slicer for a red. It's not in play yet. It's not, it's not a stack. Oh, this is. Oh, I thought we were good on Mind Slicer because uh, I couldn't have cast. Yes, Mind, Mind, Mind Slicer is in play, but Phyrexian Altar is not. Yeah. Okay. My yeah, bad. Sure. I'll stack yeah. it to Viscerous here. Yeah. That's fine. I would like to respond to the ability on the stack. Sure. So, Mind Slicer is gone, but the ability is on the stack to discard. Mm -hmm. Yes. I would like to pay three mana and cast a Machine God's Effigy. Uh, it, it can enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it's an artifact and it taps for blue. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, it will be an Atali, seeing as my hand's going away anyway. Might as well play it. Yeah. Um, so ETB trigger everyone reveal or exile right? Exile to so non-land. Oh, treasonous non orger. There you go. Got a lot of reveal of fortune. Mana crypt. Um, that seems like I want to play all of these cards because why not? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mana crypt will be a first ranger captain will be second uh treason soga will be third and then wheel of fortune will be the last card played so you've uh, got a ranger captain search before you wheel then yes i do well so first to resolve will be mana crypt which I'm is that resolving good. i might respond to all of this okay i'm gonna sack led for 
three red. Discarding a Kyrick, a Wooded Foothills, and an Overeager Apprentice. I would like to spend a mana to cast a Red Elemental Blast. Okay, target. I'm going to target the Fierce Guardianship, targeting my Phyrexian Altar. Okay. I have no response for that. Sick. I'm good to pass on everything else. Now. Okay, so... So you mana, got a mana crypt, crypt resolves uh, this guy, Ranger, Ranger Captain. Captain. You got Ranger it. Captain is uh, ETB. Good. Search for a one-drop creature. It is an S percent and all. That'll go to my hand. I th think before the Wheel of Fortune. You got a treasonous ogre too, so. Yeah, before the I get the treasonous ogre. Um, so that'll just be a dude. Do I have a non-treasure token over here? Yeah, it's gonna be Wolf the Spider Queen. And then we're on to wheel? Yes. I am going to, in response to the wheel, cast a Chrome Mox. I will imprint this hydroelectric specimen. And then I am going to tap this Mana Crypt Floating one to cast a moon silver key. I'm going to sacrifice Ranger Captain. One of your lands was tapped, right? Hey, uh, this the, one was the sorry, yes. yeah. yeah. I guess I have a response. I'm sure you do. Tap the one ring. That's fair. Am I good to draw three? Yes. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Good on Ranger. Wheel. And then with the one floating, the white and the blue, I'm going to cast a Teferi Time Rabbler. Now's where I need to do bullshit. Sick. Seven glorious cards. They're all going away, and then I'll draw seven, and they'll all go away again. I'm good to let that resolve. Okay. okay, and then I am good to pass priority on everything else to the wheel. wheel of fortune. Yep, wheel of fortune. Okay, this this carding reanimate marsh flats and a ruthless. You knew all my cards. They're in the yard. Ancient mm -hmm. tomb, haywire, might vexing shusher, team or saber tooth, heat shimmer, command tower, wooded foothills. Seven. So now we're at twenty-five cards drawn this turn. Which I think is pretty awesome. I yep. will tap this gemstone cavern for a Besaju. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll hit Helia. Alright, <laughs> I will respond to that. Uh, I will cast a Mana Crypt. Pay one. Uh, activate the Moon Silver Key. Uh, to search my library for an artifact card with a mana ability or a basic land. Matic Ordery at this point. I would then like to cast Chromatic Ordery. Tap this Mana Crypt Floating 1. I'm going to cast a Sakarian Infiltrator. Uh, it'll be squatted 11 times. That's draw 11, 12 cards? Yes. And I will have 11 copies of this. Using the other colorless there. Would like to cast a Displacer Kitten. Oh, we're cooked. Boy. There's the win. Yep. You got it. I'm good. Hats off to... It's Hay. Uh, great game. Put in some work with Heliod. Uh, you know, the fact that we as a table kind of left Heliod alone, um, that was probably an issue. The, didn't steal it with the control enchantment which probably could have stolen in the beginning of the game and then i could have sink in the stupid it when i was going to draw those cards and i didn't i i chose to hit the bowmaster because i as well as general thought that the counter magic was just there so i wanted to at least get rid of a piece um i'll give me a chance but uh probably should have targeted the heliod um once a heliod flips it can get pretty ridiculous winning on top of pretty much anything with whatever kind of cards especially with so many wheels going off um but 
it's Hayes going to get the game here. Uh, wonderful showing of Heliod. Uh, can win so many different ways. Can draw a deck infinitely with Teferi. Could also just copy Atali infinitely and make us do, you know, my thing. So I kind of feel like, you know, Atali got the, 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 the assist here for the win. So maybe like, a, you know, kind of helped out uh, because Atali was available to make another wheel happen and um, things just got ridiculous from there. So, um, but I mean, an L's an L and, uh, Great showing from from uh, It's Hay, and can't wait to play some more games. Uh, catch you guys next time. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, um, share it with your friends, trying to build a community. Uh, feel free to um, join us, or uh, if you're interested in playing a game with me, please feel free to shoot me a message uh, either in Discord or on YouTube. Uh, you can throw a comment in the comment section. I'll find you. Uh, but look for us uh, next week. We got a good game coming, and I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.